my name is Elizabeth and um, I'm from a group called Seroptimus. Um, Seroptimus is a group of ladies that's um, spread all over the world um, from Africa, Asia, England. Um, our aim is to help young ladies, well ladies and young um, girls and in terms of saying that we, we helped around war-torn countries where when uh, mothers and children need help in terms of sanitation, um, how to help them to make soap, how to irrigate. We always have someone that will probably travel out and um, sort of engage them and help them to fulfill their, you know, whatever they need in terms of saving lives, you know? Yeah. Okay, and what kind of things do you get involved with on a daily basis? Well, we do a lot of charities. Anything that props up, whether it's a war or that, we try to get involved. And how we raise money is we, we sometimes we go to each other's homes and we perhaps put on a potluck or we do festivals. We, we, we go anywhere where we can and we can sort of raise money for any charity, for the homeless, any charity involving um, women and young girls, we always try and engage. Okay, and what brought you here today at Croydon? Well, funny enough, um, one of the um, members, the president, put it out on the email. Um, you guys um, invited us, the Seroptimists, to come and engage for the PEP. And I saw it and I thought, let me go and see, take a look, and here I am today. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. and what do you think of it so far today? Well, actually, um, I was thinking when I go home with the kids, I'm going to be a changed woman. Yeah. It's going to be the new <laughs> me. Um, I must say, I did write down a few notes, and mm -hmm. you know, watching them, um, I, I, especially the bit where the pledge to peace that got me, where um, you pledge to peace, where you got to sign, and once you sign, you must do something. Therefore, you've got to resign again to show what you've done. I, I, I was also taken aback with Errol, the only thing I found, I, I would have loved Errol to have um, asked for a little bit of um, feedback, question and answers. I wanted to ask him, um, what has PEP done to him? How does he use it? Yes. I mean, he said he was the new him. I would have loved to have known how he got engaged into where he, where he, he was and now he's out. How he's going to use PEP? Is he going to help other people that maybe had been in the same situation as himself? Because I think he might be a good role model to use the PEP. Mm. So I'd love to have heard some feedback and how he's using PEP as a changed person. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is interesting to d learn more about what happens after Absolutely. they've learned the PEP. Yes. yes. And, and, and another thing I was thinking with the PEP was um, the, the, the prison I was looking at was when the gentleman stood up and says, well, why don't the workers also use it? And I thought maybe it would be good to start, you know, with all the gangs and that we were talking about, why don't we sort of use it in schools as a beginning for youngsters and take it right through? Maybe that might be a good, you know, yeah. in terms of art and peace and, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's actually something that almost everyone could use, mm. especially now. Indeed. Um, and what is it you do with women in particular um, with your organisation? Well, right now we've got over 70 schools that are engaging. We, we sort of set, um, set questions like, how does break, like we're going to do some pri primary school girls, whereas we set a um, couple questions and we ask them to do an essay, maybe a more a4 paper to maybe two and um, we're just doing it up and we ask them um, questions like what do you think of Brexit what do you think of self-arming maybe the knife crime and what we do is we get them into the town hall and put them in a chamber that will give them a sense of worth like you know they'll stand up in the chamber and then they will give their little talk and then we'll turn it out turn out and ask them you know what they feel they'll give us questions and answers maybe we'll have three that will engage and say well we've got third prize second prize first prize and whoever wins this competition then we'll take them to the houses of parliament and that would be so nice for the girls and we do so much for young ladies and mm -hmm. girls in the community homeless we do the shelter we go to churches we drop off bags we do so much we do the peace gardens we travel we plan there's nothing we that the sir optimist doesn't do we're <laughs> all over the place on the london bridge walking with sheep. we do everything we can we're just very busy. Yeah, sounds great. And would you use the PEP? Well, this is why I'm here, because I've got a feedback. I've got so much here, so I'm going to put it all together. 
And the thing is, I need someone's name that I can get back to them because hopefully we'll have one of you come and give a little talk and we can take it from there because I'm, I'm really, really interested in this. It's something that's really close to my heart. As a woman of God, I go to church and I'm yes. all for peace. And I really think we need to spread this around a lot more. Yes. We, we, I think you should send it to the government. Everybody should go through this program. I really do believe they should. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs>